Hello and welcome to my vidIQ tutorial for beginners. In this, I'm going to be giving you a quick walkthrough for some of the best features on the inside of using vidIQ. If you'd like to follow along or simply just test out vidIQ, I will leave my link down below. And if you click that, you can actually get the free plan with vidIQ. And of course, you can always upgrade in the future if needed. I do want to point that out. I currently have the boost plan, which is one of the upgraded plans. So if you're following along and you don't see some of these features, it's simply because that's an upgraded version and you get a few more features with that. Let's begin. So this is going to be the dashboard when you arrive here. There's a lot of little things that you can look through. For example, we've got channel stats, daily ideas, subscribers overview, and if you'll scroll down more, you can get plenty of other things going on. Nevertheless, I want to start off with daily ideas. This is a fantastic feature if you're looking for daily ideas, obviously. So what you do here is you go in and you enter a specific keyword. For this, I'm just talking about vidIQ. And if I hover over right here, it says view prediction, which is indicating the views your channel could get for this idea. So the higher it is, the more chances are that your audience is going to like it. Just to kind of give you an idea here, we so we have how to use vidIQ to increase your video views and subscribers, how to use vidIQ to get more engagement. And these are also going to give you the titles that you can use. And once you understand how to do that, or you look at it and you say what you need to know about, say, the new software or the new app, you know, you could come up with a feature that you want to talk about, and it's going to eliminate a lot of the guesswork. Because if a title sounds great to you and you want to create it, that saves you a lot of time and effort instead of just thinking about what should I create next. If we scroll down a little bit more, we're going to have some personalized ideas. So these ideas will update daily, save or dismiss up to 50 ideas to help our AI recommend the best YouTube ideas for your channel. So as you go on, you can obviously hit the heart or you can hit the X, but these are going to be some of the bigger ones that you can go after or just kind of create when it comes to titles. So how does affiliate marketing work in 2023? Affiliate marketing for beginners with no money. I might actually even create a video like that. So I'm just going to do plus or save, okay? There's gonna be a section up here where, as you can see, saved ideas and dismissed ideas. So that's another cool thing. You can go through and you can click on all the ones that you like and it will save them for you so you don't have to go in and copy it or paste it elsewhere. And I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit more so you can see there's a good amount of them, okay? So that's gonna be the daily ideas. Very helpful when it comes to getting daily ideas. Next is going to be the AI generator. This is a cool little feature that will help you when it comes to creating a title, description, tags, thumbnail, even a script and voiceover. So all you need to do is enter and say like a phrase or a keyword that you want to create your next video about. Allow me to enter in an example. I'll be right back in one second. And as I always love talking about golf, we have how to improve your putting in three steps. Let's click on go. And once it's done, I'll be back to show you. All right. So for the title they got, we have master your uh, putting game in three simple steps. We have a good description here talking about improving it with correcting the stroke and, you know, patience drills, uh, mastering your grip. It's funny because sometimes I will notice that the description can be slightly off from the video script. I mean, that's not too bad. It's kind of like if you want to give them more tips, but that's just something to keep in mind. We have plenty of keywords. We also have our thumbnails. Uh, I've talked about this before. I don't think they're the greatest. You know, it kind of looks like, like N64 graphics if you're familiar with Nintendo 64. You know, something like that, usually some of the things are out of place. Uh, it's cool that it's there. I think it needs improvement. But for me personally, I would just use my own thumbnail. So it's not a big deal. We have our video script right here. So I'm not going to read through all of it. But we have step one, mastering your grip, keeping your eye on the ball, having a smooth stroke. And then we have the last uh, part right there. We also have a voiceover, which doesn't sound too bad. I'm going to play it for you very quickly. Hi there. Welcome to this video on how to improve your pudding in just three simple steps. Yeah, the only problem is that he said pudding. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I want to putt, not put. <laughs> How to improve your vanilla pudding <laughs> in three simple steps. Okay, that's a funny one. So might need a little bit work. But once again, if you're not using a voiceover, not a big deal. So it is still in beta. So you got to give them, cut them some slack there. I'm sure there's a lot that you can improve on and it's only going to get better from where it is right now. It's pretty cool and it's easy to use. Next, we go to my, one of my favorite aspects is going to be the keywords section. So let's click on keywords here. Okay, and once you arrive here, you're going to have quite a few boxes here. This is going to be the overview. We have our top keyword opportunities. These are keywords that you can probably should create videos about. We have top search terms for your channel, which is private eye stuff. I'm going to keep that private so I only I know what that is. And of course, we have rising keywords. Nevertheless, let's click on the top keyword opportunities over here and we can get even more ideas or opportunities that we can create future videos on. All right, so a lot of your keyword research is going to be done here. You're going to notice that competition when it's high, probably not something you're going to want to go after, especially if you have a smaller channel. 
There's also going to be the overall score, like when it's green or higher, that's going to be good. So we can actually sort this by the overall score and look at some of like the low hanging fruits here. So we have like an InVideo tutorial, SEMrush tutorial, uh, Surfer SEO affiliate marketing, Jasper. It's funny because a lot of these I have created videos for and I do agree with the very low aspect. Uh, add creative, teachable, and thinkific. Add creative again, Jasper. So a lot of good ideas here that you can really quickly and easily go in and just get some great opportunities. Now, what we can do is kind of enter in our own seed keyword or a phrase and get even more for, say, keyword research. Allow me to type in, since ClickBank is so popular, we're also going to be having a look at the overall score, the competition, and so on and so forth. So I talked about this when it comes to keyword research. We have related keywords, which is great. We also have questions. I think this this is a phenomenal aspect. We have over 300 or all 300 questions. Let's click on this here. And once again, we can sort by the, the low or the, the best competition in terms of like being very good. A lot of these I understand are going to be in Spanish. Unfortunately, I guess that's just what happens with the keyword. But if you look here, there's going to be a lot of them that you can pretty much create videos on. So like how to create landing page for ClickBank, affiliate products. What I like is that they're long tail. So for long tail, they tend to be very specific. They tend to have a lot less traffic, but the fact that they're so specific, you usually get some great traffic, okay? For example, let's just say someone types in weight loss, okay, into Google. First of all, it's gonna be impossible to rank for that, even on YouTube. But uh, if someone also types in like how to lose weight, you know, a female, 35 years old after being pregnant, something like that. It's so specific that when you create a video and you talk to that specific person, they tend to stay on much longer, say if they're watching the video or if they're reading the article, because it's very easy to speak to someone when they give you a lot of details in terms of what they're searching for. So that's why long tail keywords tend to be so great. They also usually have very little competition. Okay. So that's something else to keep in mind, but there's a lot going on here. I'm just going to give a different keyword because there's a lot of uh, Spanish stuff here. Let's do, let's do a affiliate marketing. And once again, let's go to the uh, view all 300 questions. And of course, looks a little better here. There we go. So how to create landing page for free, uh, something with solo ads, uh, how to make so a lot of landing page stuff, TikTok, how to get traffic for affiliate marketing. All these are great. So it, I mean, just with like one single little keyword there or just like a long tail keyword, you can get a ton of ideas. So if keyword research and ideas are your thing, you're probably going to be spending a lot of time in here. And that's a good thing because it's it's pretty easy process. You don't really even need to spend a lot of time in YouTube. They give you a lot of data here. But there is one thing I do want to make sure that you're aware of is that the search volume, say overall, isn't always going to be correct. In fact, it's usually never 100% correct. It's a ballpark. It's like that with any type of software, especially with SEO. I noticed that, you know, sometimes it might be easier to rank for, sometimes it might be more difficult. Sometimes you'll get so much more traffic, and sometimes you'll get a lot less. Overall, it kind of balances off, but just take these with a grain of salt. They're supposed to be ballpark measures. And in my opinion, I think they work well that way. Next, we're going to go to the competitors. I personally don't use this a lot, but I will show you how it how it's done here. As you can see, we just have my channel right here. And of course, if you want to add a competitor, you can track how they're doing in terms of like their views, uh, the average daily views, subscribers. And of course, there's going to be a section down here. So let's put in a channel of, let's do Buildupreneur. Spencer has a great channel on like affiliate marketing. Let's click on that. Let's scroll down and do add competitor. I just reloaded it and now I'm going to do select and now we can start seeing his as well. So this is going to be me and this is going to be him here. As you can expect, more views. We have the subscriber aspect, <laughs> many more public videos. Uh, let's see, that's going to be me. I guess he hasn't had any in the past, what, 30 days? Uh, let's see, average daily views, okay, around 10,000. We have average subscribers per day. So this is just a way of if you want to like measure up to others, you can take a look at some of the stats, uh, top views from this is just going to be me. I don't think there's enough uh, information to do this yet. So not enough competitor data. So sometimes you might need to add more or maybe change this around. But nevertheless, that's just a way of if you want to kind of compare yourself to some of the other competitors out there. Me personally, I don't use this a whole lot, you know, but you might have some use for it nevertheless. Next, it's going to be SEO. This is going to be an aspect where you can add some more tags to this. So let's give you just a quick example here. So for example, we have Teachable versus Podia. So we have some tags that are current. It also shows, you know, should we add some others for these? And in my opinion, I would say no, just because I have videos that are separate from this. 
So me personally, I don't want those. I can do dismiss all. These will give you good ideas of some other tags that you can utilize. So if you want to add them in, you can do that. You can add all, you can dismiss all. It's a pretty easy process. It's just helping you to discover more keywords, excuse me, more tags or keywords that you can use in your videos. Pretty simple stuff. Last but not least, I do want to go over the AI coach. So once again, this is a newer feature that focuses on AI and you can do a lot of cool things here. There's a ton of prompts on the right that you can just simply ask it like, how do I get more views? How do I improve this title? Write a description for a video about and so on and so forth. I'll go down a little bit more so you can see like video strategy, give me some ideas, how to grow the channel, what has the highest engagement. What I like about this is that not only is it like, you know, an AI writer, but it attaches with your YouTube channel so it can get some really accurate information and help you even more. Nevertheless, let's say we want to do write a YouTube community post. How about this? How to grow a channel about online. All right, so about online marketing and software review videos. Let's click on send and see what it gets. All right, and let's scroll back up for a little. So we have talk about things based upon your target audience. So usually around 25 to 34, followed by 18 to 24 and 35 to 44. Uh, discuss trending topics, industry news, and practical tips. Now we have some video, idea, video ideas based upon your top performing videos, which is nice. So we have top five marketing tools for small businesses, how to optimize your marketing campaigns with AI power tools, in-depth review of email marketing platforms, social media marketing strategies, and the ultimate guide to SEO. Some of your video titles could be more engaging. For example, this one can try like discover trending videos on YouTube with vidIQ. That's pretty cool. Something could definitely change around. In fact, there's a section here, like give me video ideas. Yeah, there we go. Improve this title. So that's pretty much this section right here. And you can do that for a lot of your titles. Like how can I make this better? Engagement, uh, ask their thoughts, experiences, and questions. And of course, consistency, you know, be consistent, obviously. <laughs> so scrolling back up. Nevertheless, that's pretty much going to wrap up my vidIQ tutorial. Didn't want this to be too long, but basically covering some of the biggest features that you might be using on the other side. There are plenty more features, but in my opinion, I think like the keyword research aspect is going to be one of the biggest ones. And of course, using like AI, especially here, if you want to create a description, or maybe you want to use the AI generators for your script, the voiceover, the titles, the tags, and everything else. Nevertheless, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I know there's plenty more that vidIQ comes along with, but as a beginner, this will get you up and running and hopefully this helps you out in the process. Don't forget, if you haven't gotten to test out vidIQ yet, I will leave my link down below and that should just about do it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.